All right, so what I'm doing today, uh, gotta go fix, gotta go fix the same car that I had to fix in a few videos ago that was like in that video when I went to the car meet, but I had to change the tire on it first. It's that same car. I've been told that it's the alternator that needs to be changed. And so I assume that's what I'm doing and that's what's wrong with it. But if not, I don't know. It might be the battery. I don't, I don't really know. But uh, they called me to fix it, so I guess I gotta go help out the fam. By no, I'm by no means a mechanic. That is what I went to college for, if you guys didn't know that, but uh, I'm definitely not really a mechanic. I, I just happen to have a couple wrenches and stuff, so I always get called to do this kind of stuff, but it's whatever. So hopefully I can get it changed. And hope, I hope that's what the problem is. It should have a warranty on it, so all I should have to do is just take it to AutoZone uh, and have them give me a new one. So I guess we'll see that how that goes when we get there. All right, here it is, the old Buick. I don't really need to know what the, the model is. It's a Buick uh, Century. Probably can't see what it is. Buick Century. So, I guess I need to try and see if I can get this back running. I hope I can. Something tells me something's gonna go wrong, but I'm gonna try my best, I guess. Oh, all right, so I got the door open. Uh, I almost thought I didn't have the right key for a second, but yeah, thank God, got the door open. Uh, so I guess the next next step is just disconnect the battery and see what I'm working with. This is a really old car, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Okay, alternator's right there on top, thank God. Still looks pretty new, so I don't know if that's actually what the problem is, or if it just needs a new battery. So, let me see, when was this, how long has this been in here? Where's the date? Should have a date on it, or a year. I can't see it. Uh, do y'all see it, and I'm just not seeing it? Oh, uh, let me find that and I'll get back to you. Well, hold up just a cotton picking second. As I was just about to go ahead and take off the bat one of the battery terminals, I see that. Let me see if I can show you. Um, belt is just absolutely written in half. So that's probably the problem. Belt is ripped. Hope those don't cost that much, but I, I thought it probably wasn't the alternator because the alternator still looks really new. Um, the battery doesn't even look like it's been in there that long, but. That belt is definitely shredded. I mean, just, yeah, that's through. It don't even look like it was an old belt either. It's still, it doesn't even have cracks in it or anything. It's just ripped in half. I don't know how that happened, but uh, yeah, that's definitely gotta be fixed before anything else. So I guess I need to figure that out. All right, so I got the belt off, obviously, because it's pretty easy. It was just snapped in half. I believe what the problem was, whew, it's kind of warm. I believe what the problem was that uh, it, uh, it's just not the right size belt. See how thin it is. It's only got, it's only, it only has one, two, three, four ridges in it. When the, what's on that car, uh, like all the drive accessories have like, I don't know, that's four, That those probably have like, I don't know, six. The belt's just really too thin. It needs to be like twice as thick as this. So I think that's probably why it snapped. And <sighs> I gotta go get another one. And then after I do that, I'll probably, if I can, if that's all that's wrong with it, hopefully I can just put the new belt on, tighten it down, and hopefully jump it off. And it sh I hope it starts. If it doesn't start, then I don't know, I'm probably out of luck, but yeah, this is, this is probably the problem. That's not supposed to be, that's supposed to be one loop. <laughs> oh, fun fact, um, this is actually the first house I ever lived in. This house right here, it was a different color back then. It was like yellow back in the day, but I'm 24, uh, so, but 
this is the house I lived in about 19 years ago. I don't live here anymore, but 19 years ago, this is the house that I lived in. It was like the first first house I lived in. It's bringing back a lot of memories. We used to play around back there and everything. I don't know whose boat that is. But uh, yeah, we used to play around here. We had a little, a little electric Jeep that we used to ride around. And uh, yeah, we fell out of it. My brother fell on his face right there. Pretty hilarious. Yep, this is our old house. Bringing back a lot of memories, man. Even the smell is the same. It's crazy. Okay, so yeah, the the belt that I had had four ribs. This, these pulleys and stuff have space for one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six, like I thought. So that should have been a six rib belt, with, whereas it was only a four rib. And uh, as I was looking at it, let me see if this will fuck. You see how the when the belt ripped, it just ripped up all of that. It was like hitting it. So that was definitely probably what the problem was. I'm hoping anyway. Um, I hope it's not the battery or alternator because I don't really want to change all of that. Hope I can just put a new belt on and I'll be done. So I'm gonna run once I get confirmation because I'm not paying for it. Uh, I'm gonna go run the grab the belt. I'm gonna run to AutoZone and hopefully they'll have a new one and I'll throw it on and try to get it pumped back up. We'll see. Lucky for me, AutoZone, if it'll focus, is literally like a 60 second drive away. It's right there. Alright. Oh. Got the right belt with six ribs. So let me see if I can slide it back on. Tighten down the tensioner, um, reconnect the battery, and hopefully it'll crank. If I don't have to jump it, I might have to jump it, but we'll see. Oh, fingers crossed. Lucky for me, this old school Buick has the belt routing thing right there on the motor where the belt goes. So that's pretty cool. I don't have to look it up or anything. Nice. All right, uh, let's try this one more time. Oh crap, God, these things about to rip my shorts off. All right, break down. Lord. time I turn the key I can hear my car die down it's pretty it's pretty bad but I can hear my car die down every time I turn the key so yeah the battery's definitely dead I'm gonna have to let it charge for a pretty good minute um, yeah I waited about five minutes but that wasn't enough it, it gave it a little bit of juice but not enough maybe if I go give it some gas maybe it'll charge up faster I have no idea 
figure this out. Okay, I've been sitting for about a good 10 minutes. So I'm going to, and I've been sitting for 10 minutes while also giving it some, a few revs. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but I'm going to try it one more time. Hopefully, fingers crossed it starts this time. Uh, let's see. I actually fixed something. Well, yeah, that's how you change an a uh, belt on a Buick Century. It's running. Not well, but it's running. So that's how you change the belt on a Buick Century. So yeah, peace out. I gotta go to work now, it's Saturday.